everybody, Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today we are going to get botanical. Yes, we are going to be making some flowers. Yes, so very, very pretty. I have seen these be referred to as lilies or irises. Regardless, they are gorgeous. And believe it or not, they are pretty darn simple to make. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so with my square piece of paper, we're going to start with the white side facing up to begin with, with a bunch of preliminary folds. So we're going to start by folding our piece in half to make a triangle. This is very similar to many of the pieces that we make. And then it will diverge off in a different direction. So then after we make our triangle, unfold and turn and then fold it again to make another triangle. There we are, unfold flip our paper over, and then we're going to fold it in half to make a rectangle, and then open it up and do the same thing in the opposite direction. There we go. Now, I have been asked many, many times what sort of paper that I use, and it's just, you know, standard origami paper. Usually it is six inches by six inches. I would say a good 95% of the time it is a square piece. Sometimes you have to change that a bit, but but as far as using other kinds of paper, this craft lends itself to using many different kinds of paper. Newspaper, wrapping paper, I've even used candy wrappers, believe it or not. So then after we're done there, we have all of our preliminary creases going. So poke the center up and we're gonna bring it to a point so that we have two layers of a triangle on the top and then two on the bottom. I'm going to smoosh it down. And this is the base that is used for the balloon as well as a whole bunch of other pieces. And there we go. That is our basis. Okay, now the next step, I've seen this done a different way, which is to take one of these flaps and Stick your finger into the pocket there and then flatten this down. I've found a better way for me personally, which is to fold this edge along this center edge and then use those creases to our advantage. And I'm going to do this with all four flaps. So folding that down like that. And then I can unfold this and again tuck my finger into there all the way to the point as best I can and then I'm going to use the creases that I made and then flatten this down. And we're going to do that with all four of those flaps on each side. And also when I'm done creating this sort of upside down kite shape, what I can do then, just make sure that's nice and creased, is fold it in half along this center crease line. Like so. So we're going to do that with all four. So take one of the flaps, fold it along that center crease line, a 
unfold and open. Get your finger in there. Can be a little bit fiddly, but patience does pay off. We want these to line up at the bottom edges here. Like that, and then fold it in half. So we've got two done. We'll do the other side. open and then smoosh down along those creases and flatten and then fold to the side along the center And then we've got one more left. And open. And then inside. Utilize those creases and smoosh. Folding it in half. And there we go. We're well on our way. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these layers, pop it over to the side here, and then we're going to fold these top edges to the center. And we're going to do this a bunch of times. Get it nice to the point there. There we go. And then this layer. You only be, you want to, you want to only be grabbing the one layer as you're folding these. You know, you want to be careful that you're not folding multiple layers at the same time. So we've got these two. And then let's do the next batch. Just the one layer to that center crease. There we go. And then do another two. Scooch that to the side and then open this one up and then do these two edges. Okay. Now at this point, I want to have an even number on either side. So at this point, I've got four layers on this side, four layers on this side, perfect. And then going to fold the bottom point all the way up to the top and folding it in half between these two points at my thumbs right here. So folding it in half. Now this, at this point, it is fairly thick. So 
go slow so that you can try to be accurate. Then give it a good crimping press smoosh. And then open it up. So now we've got a crease line that is going to help us. Now, again, four more times, we're going to deal with these flaps here. So open these guys up and then just take this top layer, bring it down. So this layer is going to go all the way to the base here. And we're going to push your thumb into the corner there. And folding this back on itself along those crease lines. And then as for this side, if you run your finger to that corner there, then flatten this down. Again, you want to go slow. And there you are. That's one of the four. So we're going to do that again. So open these flaps, take that layer, and along this fold, bringing it down, smoosh, lining up our creases, There we go. So that's two done. Then we can open this side up and open this side up. Close the ones in between. Open these flaps. Bring the layer down. Take your time with it. Enjoy the process. I know I do. There we are. Okay, and one more to go. Open these up. Insert your finger into the corners there. And bring this layer down. Edges to the middle. And da -dum. there you go. No, nope, we're not done yet, but we're getting close. All right. Onwards to the next step. Okay, now from here, I'm going to take this flap that we just finished and bring it all the way up. 
in turn. Do the same thing with this top flap. Bring it up and flatten. Turn to the side. Open up this side and this side and bring the middle together. Then bring this bottom to the top, flip, and bottom to the top. Okay, now at this point we have a, a closed tip and open points. We want to keep the open points open at the top. That's going to be uh, where we have our petals. Down here is where we're going to have the base of the flower. Because this looks the same, it's very easy to mistake one for the other. So yes, opening to the top, closure to the bottom. And at this point, going to then again take one of these layers, just the top one, and fold this edge and this edge to the center. And again, this is going to get kind of thick, so go slow. It's almost like we're doing the tail and the head of an origami crane. You know, it gets pretty thick, but it is worth it. And again, be sure that you're only grabbing one layer. Okay. And then flip it over and do the exact same thing. Try to get a nice point at the bottom there. There we are. And then again, going to bring these layers together, turn these layers together. And then with these top layers, we're going to do the exact same thing as well as the back layers. It gets a little thick, but it, it is worth it. So again, top layer to the center there. Top layer to the center. There we are. Turn it over and one more pair to fold in. And then, believe it or not, I know I keep saying this, we are just about done. Just some shaping. And that will be it. Voila! Yes. <laughs> and now we shall bloom together. Okay, so now for the fun part, the blooming. All right, so these up here are our petals. So grabbing just one layer here, bring it down in the front. Just separating it. And then the one in the back. Then open it up a little bit, grab the one in the middle there, bring it down, and the one on the other side. And we have some bloomage. Now, to really make this look a little bit more natural and make it pop a little bit more, we are going to then curl these petals a little bit. Now I've got one of my circular knitting needle nibs here, which helps. You could use a, a pencil, a, um, a skewer for, you know, shish kebab, whatever. Um, so I like to grab my needle and then roll the tip of the petal with the skewer. 
to give this petal a lovely, lovely curl. You can do it a couple of times if needs be. So pinch that petal down and roll. Come on. There we go. Oh, I almost had it. it. Takes a little practice. There we go. That's gorgeous. And then one more. Ta da! We have ourselves a gorgeous, gorgeous flower, which again could be a, a lily or an iris, depending on you know how you look at it. I mean, it, it's made out of paper, let's be real here, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. Now, if you are of a mind to do so, you can take a bit of floral wire, and this is how I would go about doing it. Take a little bit of floral wire, and then at one end, make a little bit of a loop, okay? And then with the other end, stick that through the center, all the way through the bottom, where this is closed here, and then pull it until the loop catches at the base here. Now, you don't want to pull too hard. You don't want to pull that through. But that is, that's probably how I would go about doing it. And then perhaps try to affix some glue, perhaps, so it doesn't wobble about. I haven't tried it myself, although I've seen it done. But this will get you well on your way to making a lovely bouquet of paper flowers. This is so pretty. Mm. Also, I think this would look lovely as an embellishment, perhaps to a, a hat or a, a shawl, you know, uh, on a pin, perhaps. I think it would look rather nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So listen, everybody, I hope that you liked today's video. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding fun, fabulous floral things, and take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.